And if you haven't already, get baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let me go um, pull up some scriptures on that. Matthew 28, 19 says, Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. 2 Colossians 2, 11 through 13. When he, um, I'm sorry, when you came to Christ, you were circumcised, but not by a physical procedure. Christ performed a spiritual circumcision, the cutting away of your sinful nature. For you were buried with Christ when you were baptized, and with him you were raised to new life, because you trusted the mighty power of God who raised Christ from the dead. You were dead because of your sins and because your sinful nature was not yet cut away. Then God made you alive with Christ, for he forgave all our sins. He canceled the record of the charges against us and took it away by nailing it to the cross. In this way, he disarmed the spiritual rulers and authorities. He shamed them publicly by his victory over them on the cross. Okay, Romans 6, 4, therefore we are baptized with him by baptism into death, that like as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. So if you haven't already, go get baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay, if you, if you fell away from Christ and now you're just coming back to Christ, you don't have to get baptized again. I'm talking to the ones who've never been baptized. Go get baptized if you haven't already, okay? Uh, a supernatural experience is going to take place during your water baptism. As the word says, your spirit, your spirit is dead in Christ before you decided to give your life to Christ. It was dead in Christ. But, but do your water baptism, your, your spirit is going to become alive again through Christ. Just how Jesus Christ, how he died and then rose again on the third day, it's the same thing with your spirit. Your spirit was dead in Christ before you decided to give your life to Christ. And now that you have surrendered yourself to Christ, he's going to make your spirit alive again, okay? Your spirit is important for it to be alive because God is spirit and he speaks to your spirit. So it's important for your spirit to be alive. And that happens through your water baptism. Also, what's going to happen through your water baptism is the Holy Spirit is going to come live in your spirit. Okay? Some people get this confused, this part confused. They think that they're God. No, you're not God. You have God in you. You have the spirit of God living in your spirit. The, the Holy Spirit. He's the very spirit of Father God. Okay? And he is God himself as well. You got Father God who is God. Jesus Christ the Son who is God. And then the Holy Spirit who is God. And he is the spirit of God. Okay? And that's who's living in you. Who's God. You're not God. You have God within your spirit, okay? And that's going to take place during your water baptism. So it's important for you not to skip it. It's not just something that's cute. It's a supernatural experience that will take place. Your spirit needs to become re alive. The word says regenerated, renewed, okay? It needs to be renewed, regenerated, so that the Lord can Speak to your spirit and in return is he's speaking to you so please please do not skip that the enemy he tries to confuse people and try to say you don't need the water baptism he'll try to confuse you he'll try to lie to you and tell you that you don't need it because he knows what happens when a person gets baptized. The word tells us what happens when a person gets baptized. So of course he's going to he's gonna speak against it. He's going to give you thoughts in your mind that you don't need it. And to stay away from it because he knows the power of baptism. Okay? So don't let the enemy fool you. 
fool you out of getting your water baptism. You need your water baptism, okay? All right. 